Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Pirate Valley. Today, we are still down in the valley, and we're getting on with placing some rides. As you can see there, we've placed something. I have completely forgotten the name of that ride. I do apologize, but it's the one that looks like it has Ursula from The Little Mermaid on the top of it. So, I figure that was kind of fitting for pirates. She was a bad guy, is a bad guy, and you know, it was, it was interesting. It's a ride I haven't placed yet, so that's why it's there. Also, you might have noticed I changed the width of the queue. I don't know why you can do it, but you can have a queue that's like one, I don't know, it's not, it's no, no way is it a meter wide, but it was really, really bloody thin. That was really strange to see. So, yeah, that was that was a thing we discovered on the live stream, which I'm going to plug right now because it's a segue. Yeah, we discovered that in the live stream, had a good old laugh about it. And if you don't know, I stream Pirate Valley in real time, obviously, to Twitch TV. Uh, it's Conflict Node TV over there. So if you want to see this all built live, you can pop over there and watch the streams every Monday and Thursday. There will be one. This is going out on a Thursday, so there will be one tonight. So I would encourage you to come along. Uh, and we'll see how things go there. Uh, anytime you see me pause in this video, by the way, that was probably because I was changing the music. I listen, I wound up listening to a lot of rock music whilst building this, which was fitting because a lot of what I do in this particular episode revolves around rocks and has done for a while. The last episode of the Planet Coaster Let's Play had uh, a lot of rocks in it. That Let's Play, by the way, will come back eventually. I want to sort of finish that park a little bit, get a couple more things in there, and then hopefully in time for the update to uh, Planet Coaster, the May 24th update with terrain editing, which I've heard, I think I heard uh, Silverette mention this, Sil Silverette or Silverette. I think he calls himself Silver Silverette, but everyone else calls him Silverette. I'll call him Silverette because that's what he calls himself in some older videos. Um, I think he mentioned in a video recently that's, um, there's like three axis rotation coming in that update as well. So hopefully, I think what that means is basically you've got like your X axis, you've got your, you've got all your different axes to ro axes to rotate things on. If that's actually a thing, I'm super, I'm more excited for the update than I already was because that is going to be glorious to have. It makes, it's going to make things so much easier. It's going to make uh, rocks look more varied because that's what I'm concerned about. Uh, you're going to be able to rotate trees a little bit more. You're going to be able to rotate everything. Rooftops, roof pieces. You're going to have wall pieces as roofs if it goes well. So that should be very interesting indeed. And I mean, it's the first update to Planet Coaster since we've got our hands on it. And it's already going to change how we build everything. And this is what we've all been saying for so long, you know. We're building all these cool things. And the community is building these incredible things with Alpha 1. You know, like, this game is just remarkably good for anyone that's remotely creative. And I love that. I really do. Anyway, what we're doing at the moment is uh, placing down a building. I decided to make a small building here that will have, I think, a chief beef and two toilets in it. Uh, a little bit of different, you know, some different levels going on with the roof and all that stuff. And I put it on, on an angle to uh, make a little bit of a... Uh, just uh, something look a little bit different. A little bit of uh, differentiation between this building and the ones beside it because that's kind of one of the big complaints uh, everyone has when it comes to Pirate Valley is everything's almost on a grid. So I tried to shake that up a little bit with this building by putting it on a bit of an angle. And uh, something I want to start experimenting with is creating multiple sections of buildings as its own building and then putting them together like that. So you, you can have buildings that are on weird angles and all that stuff. Everyone sort of does it except me, so it would let me make more more intricate buildings as well. So that's something to look into, I suppose. I also really need to hiccup at the moment. You might be able to hear it in my voice. I've been drinking a lot of mint tea, which I think I keep mentioning in videos. I, I, I don't know if I sound like such a douche when I do. If I do, I don't mean to. I just I've recently developed a bit of a bit of an addiction to mint tea which is really bloody good for my throat, so cheers in that regard. Uh, anyway, what else is there to discuss? I guess we'll talk about what else we're going to be doing in today's video, and then we'll start talking about some other things that I'd like to do with this park in the future. 
Um, so we've already got one ride done. We did that on stream. We built this building on stream. And I think that's pretty much all we ended up doing on the live stream. So I'll, I'll let you know when we're going into the footage I recorded uh, the next day. Also worth mentioning is this video was supposed to go out yesterday. I do apologize for it not going out yesterday. It's another day late. Uh, but things, you know, I can, I'm busy from time to time. I didn't find the time to do this. It, internet problems. I slept. There's excuses and excuses. The point is it didn't go out in the day it was supposed to. I do apologize. Uh, so these things happen. Yesterday was a nightmare in general. I put a software ink video out yesterday. Someone commented saying, what's up with the audio? I listened to it and it's like, oh, the audio for like the three quarters of this video is completely wrong. I didn't do any processing. I didn't up the levels. I didn't lower the gameplay. I didn't do any bass boosts or anything. So it sounded like, but basically is, is what it sounded like. So that was great. That was, that was great to discover. I had to re-upload that. I'm actually re-uploading it at the moment while recording this. So there you go. I'm talking about yesterday, but it was today for me. There you go. That's, uh, that's, that's a bit of time, time travel. What am I doing? What am I talking about? I really don't know. I ramble way too much for my own good in these videos. I should talk more about the gameplay, but I've done this so much that, I mean, the gameplay at this point really boils down to, hey, we're placing more rocks and more seaweed because we haven't done that before. So yeah, that's, that's a thing. I'm actually considering, I'll talk a little bit about this because it's an idea I've been having. I don't know why I said idea, but there you go. I've been considering maybe upping the number of these I do per week from two to three and streaming two of those. I think that could be a really interesting uh, thing to do. The reason being that when you stream something, you tend to get less done. And that's just a general fact of life. It's the same with uh, recording. On principle, when I'm playing a game off camera, I play a lot better than when I'm on camera. And that's because, and people, people always say, oh, it's rubbish, you're just bad at games or whatever. But recording takes it out of you a little bit. And you put a lot of focus into recording. You put focus into your voice and being entertaining and trying to crack jokes, although I don't do very well at that. But you generally play games better when you're not recording. And that's like double when you're streaming because you're technically recording. It's the same as recording, but you're also kind of trying to entertain a live audience. That's why streaming terrifies me in a regard. It's why I'd never want to be a full-time streamer because you have to be switched on 110% of the time. If I F up in a video, I can cut it. There could be a cut in this video, in this commentary for all you know. There isn't yet, there might be, um, but you wouldn't know because it's my job as a video creator and editor to make you not know. That's why videos are much easier than streaming for me. I mean, the production side of things can be much more time consuming and a little bit more involved and difficult in that regard. But from an entertainer's standpoint, I find streaming so much scarier. Anyway, the point of that rant is that I think it could be interesting to have an episode every week that isn't streamed so that I can spend more time and energy focusing on the build. Because I'm noticing, I watch a lot of Planet Coaster, all right? And I see so many people building these huge, huge things and these really visually impressive things. And I look at my park and go, eh, it's all right. But it could be better. I kind of want to start building like almost landmark things for my park. These huge things that just look amazing. I almost went full Donald Trump. These huge things that just look absolutely, that was, was that Donald Trump or Bernie Sanders? They're both from New York. So it's possible that that was kind of an amalgamation of both. Anyway, the point is, I don't think I'd be able to stream me creating this huge thing that's really visually striking and impressive. I think it could be fun to leave those bigger projects for videos, for, uh, I guess, building sessions that aren't live streamed and then have the two that are. So that's something I'm thinking about. Basically, the gist of that story is, would you like an extra episode every week that isn't live streamed? It's entirely up to you, really. I can't, Im I, I don't imagine anyone's going to necessarily say no. People seem to enjoy this series, so we'll see how things are going. Anyway. What I should also mention is that ever since that last cut, whilst we've been placing the rock to push and all the rocks around, hey, the rock to push surrounded by rocks. Look at me. I'm making connections. Yeah. Snapping my finger. There you go. Snapping my 
fingers to show how clever I am. Oh, that I really should cut that kind of thing. That's like cracking your knuckles into a microphone. It's something that you're not really, as a broadcaster slash entertainer, you're not really supposed to do. Be the snapping your fingers isn't so annoying, but there's some people who are like really, yeah. When you, um, what? The some people don't like it when you crack your knuckles. So, yeah, the, some, some people just would rather not hear it. Anyway, getting on to the build. What we're building here is uh, just another building, basically. This has, I think it's a Hats Fantastic inside and also has two toilets because, of course, it has two toilets. It also has a, uh, a little courtyard out front. It has a bunch of detailing. It is just, in my opinion, a, uh, a really nice building. I'm really happy with this. I thought this space needed something. And what I'm really enjoying most, I think, about filling out all this space, because I'm actually really happy that I did the roller coaster first. I like the idea, and this is also why I want to build huge things, but I like the idea that the roller coaster does go down this main street. And you'll see it at the end. At the end of the video, there is a cinematic shot where I put this temporary path that lets people get from the top part of the park to the bottom part of the park. So many people came down here, and it looks so good having people walking about the lower part of Pirate Valley with the roller coaster going over the street and through the street. <clears throat> through the street, excuse me. I should cut that, but whatever. We're almost done with the commentary. I'm so lazy. I'm so sorry. But uh, the point is, I really enjoy how this looks. It's why I want to get those tall buildings because I want the roller coaster to be just going through the streets where there are these really tall buildings where there are these huge things tiring over and you're just on the roller coaster. Because like I've said, the roller coaster we have here isn't all that fast. It's not all that spectacular. It is more like a sort of on-rails tour of the era. That's a weird word to say in my accent. Tour. T-O-U-R, for those curious. Uh, it's, it's more like an on-rails tour of the area than a uh, actual exciting roller coaster because it takes you down that main street. You get to see everything. And I think that's really cool. That's why I wanted to do that coaster. So I think it could be nice to get these giant buildings in there and get all these big, spectacular structures in here. I think it could be cool. So that's something I do want to work on, something I want to work towards. I did briefly have the idea of actually making this uh, an airship space. Like that was that was going to be a big twist for Pirate Valley. Like, everyone's like, oh, put ships down there. And I was going to be like, I will, but they're going to be flying. I didn't do that because right now you can't really make a big balloon. But if there is the three axis rotation that comes in the next update, I am totally converting the lower part of Pirate Valley into an airship, like, day thing. I think that could be really, really interesting to do. So uh, that's, that's a possibility, but shush, you didn't hear it from me. That, keep that one secret, all right? Between me... And you, you that, that that's as far as that secret goes, all right? Good, glad we can uh, agree on that. Anyway, we are getting towards the end of uh, today's episode. There are going to be some cinematics after I say my goodbyes, as there always are, putting some more details onto this building. Uh, we're going to put a bunch of rocks around the building as well to make it look like it's built into the terrain. And uh, that is pretty much going to be it. So... If you have any ideas for things to build in Pirate Valley, do feel free to let me know. Twitch chat is often quite, uh, they contribute quite a lot to Pirate Valley as well. That's why I encourage you to come along to the streams over on twitch.tv slash conflictnerdtv. If you liked the video, like the video. If you disliked it, dislike it. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much going to be it. So thank you kind of for watching. This has been Planet Coaster and let's build Pirate Valley part 12. 12 parts in. That's not bad. Let's build Pirate Valley part 12 and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.